I really do believe that uh, we all have it in all of us. Of course, as I said, over the years, uh, some individuals, because they've become more modernized, uh, have forgotten this, this, this concept. I just want to uh, give an example which is related to what I was talking about earlier. If, for example, uh, a particular country, developed country, spends its um, scientific knowledge in developing arms, and those arms get uh, sold to poor countries, what actually happens is that the resources that that country, the poor country, has are diverted from giving people the basics of life, like access to health, access to housing, access to education, and that money is used for a destructive purpose. A lot of the conflicts, for example, that we have on our continent are conflicts that are fueled by the proliferation of, of small arms. We don't manufacture them here. They are manufactured in the developed world. And you then have a situation where something that is benefiting people in the north is actually ki killing people in the south. So we need that awareness. And it is possible to remind one another of this value, which, as I said, is something that all of us have shared, either in the past or in the recent, uh, in the recent situation. If I look at our own country, if the world had looked away, we may not have achieved the peace and the freedom that we now have in our country. If the world did not unite to condemn apartheid, we would not have been able, I don't think, to have achieved our freedom as, as quickly as we have done. But it was when the world united and declared uh, apartheid a sin against humanity that I think we were able to achieve the freedom that we have. So certainly there are a whole lot of conflicts all over the world, a whole lot of uh, problems, problems of disease and illness. And it is possible working together to fight these uh, problems together with the people of that country, of those countries, because we also believe that in our own country what was important was that the people of South Africa, the majority of the people of South Africa, had taken a position that we were going to unite. We formed a mass democratic movement against apartheid, which involved both black and white. And we then had the support of the international community. So what I'm saying here is that I'm not calling for a situation where you march into another country and say we're going to impose democracy, we're going to impose our values on this country. It is important to work with the citizens of, of, of that country and to take up a cause which citizens and individuals in that country have uh, raised and said, we have a problem here. We are going to fight this problem but we need you to support us. In South Africa, again, I use the issue of, in terms of international solidarity. There was a point when the world decided to boycott South Africa. And of course, and when I say boycott, I mean in terms of the goods that were produced in South Africa, as well as uh, playing sport with South Africa. They did this with our support, the people that were living here in South Africa. We said, it is good for you to do this. Because even though we are suffering now from the boycott, we, are, we, we, we know that in the future this is going to uh, help us change the situation in our country. So that's the kind of cooperation that I'm talking about, where you work with the people in that country to bring about the changes that uh, are for the better.